Hello, everybody. What a week we're having on House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. Welcome along. Four famous faces been battling it out all week. Uh, we've had three winners in three separate days. Shall we meet our players? They are Lolly Adafope, Dan Walker, Sarah Green, and Mars Jupp. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Great week of quizzing, Lolly, isn't it? Three separate winners. So nice. Three isn't it? out of the four yeah. of you have taken home a prize. And who it is, nobody knows. We don't even need to discuss who the fourth <laughs> is. Shall we take a look at the weekly leaderboard? Ah. You're looking all right on the weekly leaderboard, actually, Lolly, because uh, here it is. Sarah has six, Lolly with seven, Dan with nine, Miles with ten. Super, super close. But Lolly, yeah, the only person without a win. We put that right today? Yes, absolutely. 100%. Three winners in three days. Four winners in four days. Yep. That's how we're going to do it. Dan Walker, feeling confident? Well, I think we're, I think we're quite enjoying spreading the love around, aren't we? I think today could be Lolly's day. Thank you. Oh, then, that'd be nice, Lolly's no. day. <laughs> we all go into Friday. No, we, yeah, we're exactly. something to play for. Oh, man, at the end, then it's just absolute... It's one more day of luck. Tomorrow up. will be an absolute bloodbath. Oh, <laughs> I would love it. Tomorrow is going to be Richard Osman's House of Games of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Sarah, you won on Monday. Should it's we all gone downhill at... since, really. Oh, it's fine, but you won a bread bin, and I think you were sated by that. But I do feel that today is Lolly's day. I really do. Thank you. Really? This is this can only this can only end badly, <laughs> Lolly, just so you know. <laughs> Sarah, should we take a look at the prizes uh, yes. on today's oh. show? Because here are today's prizes: House of Games wow. steering lock, of course; <laughs> House of Games onesie; House of Games alarm clock; House of Games cushion; and House of Games fondue set. How many forks would you get with that? It's got four forks. It's a four fork fondue set. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> four, four, four forks. It's for fondue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what would you go with? Do you think, Sarah? Four four forks. Absolutely. Yeah, fondue is good. It, it, it has been be popular. That. Uh, Miles Jupp, a Hello. win yesterday. That was nice, but still, you keep your cool, calm exterior. How do it, you do it, that? What's the secret? Well, it, the secret is that it, it is only the exterior. I mean, inside... <laughs> What's happening? Absolute mess. Just churning, 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 churning. <laughs> Doubts, fears. Yeah. I mean, you think that fondue set gets hot. I mean, my, <laughs> my insides... <laughs> Turmoil. Yeah, and you look, I'm just a very stressed, angry guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is... Every, uh... now and then, every now and then I'll have to bring it. <laughs> oh, I'd love is, it. This is where we are. I'd love to see you blow your top. It might happen. <laughs> it might. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> three winners in three days. <laughs> Lolly could be your day. We'll see. Someone's going to win this trophy tomorrow. Who is it going to be? Shall we get on with the show? Shall we get on with the rounds? Shall we have some quizzing? Play along at home. Here's your first round. It is... The answers in the question. I'm going to show you some questions in this round. It'll be one by one. Uh, you'll see some capital letters in that question, and the answer to the question will be an anagram of those capital letters. First category is percussion instruments. Lolly, here's your first question. The answer is in the question. The main tip for playing these drums is to strike them firmly. Is it, is it timpani a name of a drum? It is a name of a drum, and oh. it's the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> That's a relief, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You see how it works? <laughs> mm-hmm. Simple as you like. Dan Walker, here is your sir. Mm-hmm. Good When Liam Gallagher played this instrument for Oasis, his brother might have described it as ambient, our kid. <laughs> is it a... uh, are we looking at a tambourine? We are Ooh. looking at a tambourine, Dan. Well done. <laughs> And a ground of ambient hour. Sarah Green. Here's your next one. You would not forgive a late ring from the player of this instrument, even if they were a primary school child. I think this has got to be the triangle. Here's the correct answer. Mm. Triangle. Well done. <laughs> Here's yours, Miles. What is the answer here? You can taste the Spanish fiesta when you hear this instrument. Uh, castanet is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Lolly, we'll start back with you. Your next category is Hollywood stars. OK, Hollywood stars. Who is this Hollywood star? This Hollywood actor used her very merry wardrobe to disguise her alien friend in a 1982 film. Jump is on the buzzer. <laughs> Green is on the buzzer. Walker is now on the buzzer as well. I know it's 1982, but you will know the film. Oh. Yes, Lolly. Drew Barrymore. It's the right oh, answer. Well done. Well done. 
You remember at the start when they're going, uh, you know what, I think it's Lolly's day today. I think, um, <laughs> yeah, we we'll spread the love a bit, I think. I think it's time for Lolly. Uh, <laughs> I was um, going to say, if I'd have got it right, can you please give the point to Lolly? <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, were you? Well, you know what, if you get this next one right, you can do that. I'll consider it. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, here's yours. Uh, Think you've got your ankles wet? It means nothing <laughs> compared to this actor's experience <laughs> filming Titanic. Oh, the magnificent Kate Winslet. Is the right answer. Very well done. <laughs> Sarah Green. We are now six from six in this round. Here is your Hollywood star. Who is this? After picking up an Oscar for La La Land, this actress was bound to receive some neat memos in the days after the event. Emma Stone. Here's the correct answer, Sarah. Well played. Seven from seven miles. Could we get a clean sweep? Now known for directing, this Hollywood icon was originally famous for his Old West action films. Um, that is um, uh, Clint Eastwood. Is the correct answer. Thank well played. You. That's a good anagram as well, yeah. isn't it? Old West That's action. Very good. That is the end of that round. Well played, everybody. Shall we take a look at what it's done to the scores? <laughs> Who is in the lead? No one. Everybody is last. <laughs> Two points for everyone. Well played. Very nice. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. <laughs> oh. Should we play round two? Let's see if we can uh, get some distance between some of those scores. Today it is. You complete me. You complete me. This is a team round. Now, in team rounds, the person in last place gets to choose their partner. <laughs> I mean, that isn't... I mean, that means the format's broken, so it's goodbye for me. Uh, lovely having your company. <laughs> What can we do? Who hasn't, is there anyone who hasn't chosen a partner this week? We haven't like, worked in the exact haven't. configurations yeah. that we're sitting in. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's going to be revolutionary. Let's, hold on a minute. OK. <laughs> Lolly and Dan, you stay where you are. Miles and Sarah, if you'll swap round, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's no, very, no, that's we'll do it. We'll do it. Ever, ever. That's very <laughs> kind. <laughs> there we go. Nice, yeah. Oh, how about that for a team? Oh. That's it's nice. Good, do you like sitting there? Yeah. Yeah. Does that yeah. feel good? It's yeah. good. It's good. It's good. Gives you a whole new perspective, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, here we go, right. Lolly and Dan and Miles and Sarah. Now, you complete me, you need trust in your partner in this round. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Fingers on buzzers, OK? Each question has a two-word answer. If you buzz in, you just give me the first word of that answer. If you're right, I will then say your partner's name, and they must give me the second word of the answer. They must complete the answer. So you must know it, you also must trust your partner to finish that answer. Very best of luck, everyone. Here's your first question. Which much-loved comic actor appeared in the TV shows The Frost Report in the 1960s and Sorry in the 1980s? Yes, that is Sarah. Ronnie? Ronnie is correct. Miles? Corbett. Is correct. Well done. Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> well done. Here's your next one. Which John Grisham novel was adapted into a 1993 film starring Tom Cruise? Yes, Dan. Oh. Th the... <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, Lolly, he's done the hard work. What's the next bit? It's not Mummy, is it? Are you saying Mummy? Yeah. No, is it? It's incorrect. Oh. You can buzz in if you wish. Yes, Sarah. Flair? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh, wow. Dan, we in again? No, you can't. Oh, firm. Well, the firm is the oh, right answer, yeah. Well. well done if you got that at home. Here's your next one. It is a picture question. Who is this? Ooh. That is Dan. Adele. Adele is right. Lolly? 25. <laughs> <laughs> Robert. Brilliant. Robert. Brilliant. It is incorrect. Dan, you've been so helpful to your partner here. <laughs> Miles or Sarah, do you want to buzz in? Lolly's stupid now. Lolly knows her music. If Lolly doesn't know Adele's surname. I know, uh... I know. Is it uh, uh, 21? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> it is Adele Atkins. Well done if you said that at home. Here is your next question. It's going terribly well so far. Which 1957 novel by Boris Pasternak tells the story of a physician's life during the Russian Revolution? Yes, Sarah. Doctor. Is the correct answer, Miles? 
Shivago is the correct answer. Well done, Dr. Shivago. Beautifully played. Nice teamwork. Here's your next question. In 2012, Sergio Aguero scored a last-minute goal, securing the title for which Premier League football team? Yes, Dan. Manchester. Is correct. Lolly. Here we go. City. Get in! Oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Oh, beautifully wow. done. Next question. By what name is the Aurora Borealis more commonly known? Yes, Dan. Northern. Northern is correct. Lolly? Lights. Is the correct answer. Yes. Well played. <laughs> it's a good little team we got ourselves yeah. here, isn't it? Here's the last question of the round. What is the title of this song? You said my clothes were sexy You tore away my shirt You rubbed an ice cube on my chest Yes, Mars. Your is correct, Sarah. Gorgeous. Is correct as well. Well played. <laughs> Nicely done. You're gorgeous by Baby Bird. That is the end of that round. Just you swap back places, please? Let's see what that does to the leaderboard. Lolly and Dan, you have four points. Sarah and Miles have five points. Well played. I'll ruin that for us. I'll ruin that. Super <laughs> close. Should we get straight on with round three? It is. <laughs> Z to A. Now, in this one, I'm going to show you three clues. You simply need to tell me what connects those three clues, OK? But we will be revealing the letters of those clues one by one, from Z up to A. OK, fingers on buzzers. Here is your first set of clues. What connects these three, please? Lolly. Paintings. I need something more specific, please. Da Vinci paintings. Is the correct answer. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> Here is your next one. What connects these three, please? Yes, Miles. Um, firstly, can I just take this opportunity to say happy lolly day to everyone? <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, uh, they've all played Hannibal Lecter. Is that the correct answer? It is indeed. Well played, Anthony Hopkins, Brian Cox and Mads Mickelson. Here are your next three clues. What connects these three? Yes, Dan. Ooh. Sorry, you've They're got to give an answer. James Bond films. It is incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> as you'll see when we fit in the rest of them. Sarah. They're all ducks. They are all ducks, oh, yeah. Nice. Very well done. <laughs> Your next three clues. What connects these three? Yes, Dan. They're all instruments of some description. They are not, I'm afraid. Uh, Miles. They are all um, female characters in Shakespeare plays. Here's the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Well played. Just beat Sarah and Lolly to the buzzer there. Rosalind, Cleopatra and Viola. Uh, three more clues. What's the connection? <laughs> yes, Dan. Uh, they're all um, baddies in Doctor Who. Is the right answer. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Davros, Weeping Angels and Cyberman. Well done if you got that one at home as well. Our final three clues. What connects these three?
Yes, Sarah. Are they all um I'm gonna banned. have time they are not, I'm afraid. <laughs> Miles. Uh Jimmy Hendrix. Of course they are. Songs. Correct answer. Well done. Purple Haze, Foxy Lady and Voodoo Child. That is the end of that round. Well played, everybody. Shall we take a look at what it's done to the scores? Lolly and Dan, you have five points. Sarah, six points. Miles, back out in the lead. Eight points. Well played. Not, not what we agreed. No. <laughs> what happened what to Lolly Day, eh? Sorry. Mm. Well. Round four. It's going to play into Lolly's hands, this one. I think you're going to love this round. Okay. I should reiterate... I don't know what rounds are coming up. <laughs> <laughs> this round is... The nice round. Oh, oh. that is nice. Uh, now, what we're going to do in this round, you're each going to guess an answer, and you're going to guess it because your three opponents are all going to give you a one-word clue. If you get it right, you score a point. Uh, you'll also give a point to the person if you think they've given you a particularly nice clue. OK? Uh, today's category is... Films. Films. Your three opponents are going to look at the title of a film. Do I look at this? No. No, no that, would, that would really that would ruin the round. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I suggested. They said it would be too easy. <laughs> I disagree. Yeah. Oh, it's in the, it's an envelope. OK. Yes. Yeah. So have a little look in there. Write down a one-word clue to help Lolly identify this film. One word? One word, please, that you think might help Lolly. She'll listen to all three. She'll give a guess. And she might give you a little extra point if you've been the, the most useful. Dan, so you've got to describe a film to Lolly. You've got a one-word clue. What's your one-word clue to this film? My one-word clue, Lolly, is orgasm. So orgasm, <laughs> says Dan. Sarah, what have you said? <laughs> yes, See, says I, that's Sarah. That's much cleaner than mine. <laughs> yeah. Miles, what have you said? Well, as ever, when I'm testing a new pen, I have written <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> 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 so, Lolly, let's just go over this again. Your clues are orgasm. <laughs> yes, orgasm. What's the film? When Harry Met Sally. Must be, right? Is it When Harry Met Sally? Yes! Oh. <laughs> 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 it's the right answer. <laughs> well played. Well revealed, Sarah. Very yeah. nicely done. Is Sarah's clue better than the boys' clue there? I mean, it's hard to tell. I, I anyone... got it from Dan's, but I guess also Miles. Yeah, Miles is the same, so I think no yeah. points for it. And they all yeah. did good. They all did well. Yeah. OK, now, Dan, it's your turn to guess a film. Lolly, Sarah and Miles will be giving you a one-word clue. Sometimes the people don't know what the films are. That's always the most fun. And it's one word. We can... One word, please, yeah. yeah. OK. OK, you have three clues, Dan. What are they going to be? Sarah, what is your clue? Nude, says Sarah. Nude. What a round this is turning into, Sarah. Miles, what have you said? Well, as everyone, I'm testing out a new pen. I have written the word... <laughs> buns. Buns. So, nude, buns. Lolly, what have you said? Demure. What film turn is that? <laughs> Nude. Demure, nude buns. Mm. Demure, nude and buns. Nude, buns, demure. I've <laughs> got very little idea. I've got to tell you. Um, so, a film with nudity in it. And demure buns. And some demure buns. I'm thinking, it's not Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Yeah, what else is there? <laughs> Do you want to hazard a guess? Uh, no, it can't be, because I'm going to go Weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first word that comes to Weekend mind. at Bernie's is Dan's guess. Is that a correct answer? <laughs> what if it is? <laughs> it is not, I'm afraid. Um, what was the answer, anyone? Calendar Girls. Calendar Girls. Oh, yes. Calendar Girls. Yes. If I'll you were just... to give someone a point... Yeah. I would, I'd definitely give it to Lady okay, Green. Yeah, a point to Sarah Green oh, there for a good clue. Much. Sarah, you're now going to guess your three opponents are going to write down a one-word clue to this <laughs> film. Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if it was yeah. Weekend If this at is Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's now, you've ruined the show. <laughs> so I have... That, there we are. That's for... Sorry, right, you. there we go. You're in the part of guesser now, Sarah. Mm. What's better, doing the clue or being a guesser? At the moment, I think... Doing the clue is more fun. Especially when you get a point. I think guessing is more fun. Well... Oh, you enjoyed guessing? Yeah. Well, that's because you, you got a point well, on that's that. encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, you have to guess a film. You've got three-word clues, one from each of your opponents. Miles, what's your word? 
My word is marriages. Marriages. Mm, not many films that could have played. Marriages, says Miles. Lolly, what have you said? Church. Church. And Dan? My word was also marriages, but I didn't leave enough space for the S, so I just put marriage. So marriages, marriages, church. Marriages, marriages, church. Um, shall I try four weddings and a funeral? You mm. would think, wouldn't you, with marriages? Well, you would but it think. may not be, of course. Shall we find out? Is it four weddings and a funeral? It is four weddings and a funeral. Well played. Well done, sir. Yeah. Um, and they were all good clues because the church helped, because that applies to marriages. the other chapter. Yes, yeah. Oh, yes. And I think then I, I think Lolly I think, though, you don't want to give away two. Are you going to give? Lolly a point, yeah. It's Lolly Day. Why is that queried that she would give me a point? I don't know. I just think marriages is a really good clue yeah, to a but film that could be any, weddings. That could be but any I film. I can name you seven films yeah. like that. Go on, then. Which is, OK, Seven Brides, Seven Brothers. Yeah. Marriages in it. Bridesmaids. Yeah. Um, bridesmaids. I mean... Don't yeah, help with Bridesmaids Lolly. too. <laughs> uh, uh, hangover. The wedding singer. Um, uh, the we yeah, you exactly. How many right. more do you want? Um, so a point to Lolly there. OK, OK, if that's the way you want to play the game. Point to Lolly. <laughs> Miles, yeah. uh, you now have to guess a film. Your three opponents <laughs> are going to give you a one-word clue. Do I need to write it down? No, I don't, do I? Oh, no, no, you're done. You can, away. You can relax Yeah, you could do. Now. I mean, put it, just stop, put it away, maybe. Be... Oh, that's <gasps> good. If your kids are watching, look how well your dad's putting his tablet away there. You've tied it up really well. Thank you. Everybody ready? <laughs> Lolly, what is your first clue for Miles? Excavate. Excavate. Interesting. Dan, what have you said? Tunnel. I went for tunnel. Tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel everyone. Tunnel. I'm seeing excavating, I'm seeing tunnels. Sarah, what have you said? Prisoners. Prisoners. Right. Excavate, tunnel, prisoners. Prisoners, excavate, tunnel. Well, um, I think... Uh, I was thinking briefly it might be a war film, was tunnels more associated with excavating, mm. uh, like um, the wooden horse or something like that, but I imagine, actually, it's prisoners. Is it Shawshank Redemption? I was thinking either that or The Great Escape, right, were the two I was thinking of. What do you think at home? Do you think one of those? Do you think something else? The answer is... It's not The Shawshank Redemption. Ooh, right, I think your other one's it probably the... It is not. I wonder if it was. What was the answer? The Great, great Escape. It's The Great Escape. And yeah. how did you get that? Well, these two... I think Prisoners may have you set you on the wrong... Yeah, because oh, no, it's... Prisoners well, no, of, of course they're yeah, Prisoners of War. Yeah. yeah, of course they were. If you were to give someone a point... Well, I suppose the clue that really... Tunnels is the or tunnel is the best. Tunnels would have been a dreadful clue, but tunnel is an excellent clue. <laughs> I will accept the point on Lolly Day. I mean, uh, I'll you're going to give a point to yeah, Dan. I, I think but I should uh, take the point. Okay, point to Dan Walker. Thank you. In the nice round, <laughs> tab this away, everybody. It wasn't a very nice round for me. One round to go. One round on Thursday's House of Games. Shall we take a look at what that's done to the leaderboards? Ooh. Oh well, looky here. Wow. Six points for Dan Walker. Seven for Lolly. Sarah and Miles both with eight points. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, two points between the four of you. I quite often lie and say this is super close when it comes to the final round, but really two points between all of you is super, super close. Anyone could win. We've all seen you do well at Answer Smash on different days this week as well. Mm -hmm. uh, should we play our last round? It is always... Answer Smash, it's always a picture, there's always a clue. We smash them together and that's our answer. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. This is absolutely up for grabs. Point for a correct answer, point off if you give me an incorrect answer. Your first category is sitcoms. You'll see a picture of a sitcom. Uh, we need to smash that answer into the clue below. Good luck, everyone. Here's your first one. Which pop band won the 2002 TV talent show Pop Stars The Rivals? Yes, Lolly. Golden Girls Allowed. Is the correct answer. Golden Girls, Girls Allowed. We smash them together, you get Golden Girls Allowed. Here's your next sitcom and your next clue. Which 1908 children's book by Ellen Montgomery is set on Canada's Prince Edward Island? Yes, Dan. Roseanne of Green Gables. That's the correct answer. Wow. Takes a risk, gets the point. Well played. Very well played. Here's your next one. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. What is the name of the easternmost town in England? <laughs> yes, Dan. Hello, <laughs> hello, <Aloha> stopped. <laughs> it's the right answer. Well done. Hello, hello, stopped. Here's your next category. It is. 
Things found in the bathroom. Those would be the pictures, there's clues underneath, smash them together. Who wrote the celebrated 1970 work, The Female Eunuch? That is Lolly. Plunger Main Greer. Plunger Main Greer is the right answer. <laughs> Plunger and Jermaine Greer. Well, Plunger Main Greer. Well played, Lolly. This is so close between the four of you. Here is your next one. In which US city is the Lincoln Memorial? That oh. is Miles. Uh, Mouth Washington. Yes. Is yeah, the good. correct answer, Mouth Washington, <laughs> DC. Well played. Here's your next one. In the 1961 film The Hustler, Paul Newman's character Eddie Felson is an expert at which game? And that's Sarah. Shampoo. <laughs> is the right answer. <laughs> Shampoo and pool becomes shampoo. Next category. British actors, those will be the pictures, there'll be clues underneath. What name is given to the electronic pass used to travel on the London transport system? Dan. Claire Foister. <gasps> card. Lovely. Is the correct answer. <laughs> Claire Foister card. Claire Foy and Oyster card. Here's your next one. Edinburgh sits on the southern shore of which estuary? Miles. Colin Firth of Forth. <laughs> it is Colin Firth of Forth. It's a great dancer. Well done. <laughs> there are no more actors. There are no more clues. Who has won Thursday's House of Games? On Monday, it was Sarah Green. On Tuesday, it was Mr Dan Walker. On Wednesday, Miles Jupp. Who has won Thursday's House of Games? Oh, Miles oh, Jupp God. again. Look at those scores. Thank you. Oh, well done, everyone. Goodness. One point between the four of you. Goodness me. Miles, what a win. Your second win in a row. Sir, you win a prize. What would you like to take home with you today? You took home a toolbox yesterday. I would like to go for the fondue set. Yeah, of course, Miles. Jump wins the uh, House of Games fondue set. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, yeah exactly. enjoy it, mate. Exactly. So, toolbox and fondue set. Well, there's sets four for... forks, and you'll all be coming around for oh. fondue. So, don't. <laughs> Chocolate or cheese? Well, I think I'll let, I'll let you decide. OK. <laughs> Just, you know. What would you go for, Lolly, on Lolly Day? Um, chocolate. There you go. Yeah. Salted. It'll be cheese. <laughs> <laughs> One show to go. That is tomorrow. <laughs> Double points Friday tomorrow. Let's look at the points leading into it on our weekly leaderboard. Sarah, you have nine points. Lolly, you have ten. Dan, twelve. Miles, oh. fourteen points. Our current leader. One show to go. Double points Friday tomorrow, eight points, six points, four points, two points, so it's still anyone's game. This is when we're going to be giving over this trophy. Any one of you could still win it. We'll see you all, same time, same place tomorrow. We'll see you all as well on House of Games. Well